To survive cancer is one of the most difficult journeys. She was a great risk for a very bad outcome. I don't think we ever told the children uh, that their mother could die. I was trying to put a good face to the world, trying not to show my children the terror that I felt. The realistic picture was that she did not have a good chance of surviving her disease. The survival is, is not much more than measured in months. Welcome to The Incurables. I'm Don Wildman. With each passing day, breakthroughs in modern medicine promise that doctors will be able to treat diseases with more efficiency and greater certainty. But what happens when, for particular patients, even the most advanced treatments fail to work? That was precisely the question faced by Marlene Marcello McKenna. One day, this 41-year-old mother of four was a vibrant leader in her community, relied upon by many. The next day, she was preparing her will and looking to a higher source for answers about her future. When you face a life-threatening illness like cancer, many of us tend to turn to God. I prayed very hard every single day that he keep me alive. I didn't really know how serious it was. 1983, I don't think she knew how serious it was. The seriousness of it didn't catch on to us, and nor did we accept it. I guess she never wanted to worry me what her problem was, because eventually I found out, but that was the type of person she was. She didn't want me to worry about until she found out she had melanoma. She was a great risk, in my, my thinking, for, um, for a, a very bad outcome. I also tell patients that statistics are just numbers, and when you're talking one-on-one -on -one with someone, your statistic is either zero or 100%. You either do live or you don't live. 